Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I've got a new data pack for you, and as you might have guessed, it is a pool table or billiards table, however you want to call it. Uh, so the way this works is you use a bow to strike the cue ball, and it will, okay, that wasn't a very good break. Uh, it'll, it'll basically hit the other balls. I uh, implemented a custom physics engine for this. There's uh, sounds, let me try and get some sounds playing. Yeah, you can kind of hear them. And yeah, so you can actually play a full game of pool using this. Uh, there are some glitches for sure, because I'm only calculating physics 20 times per second as opposed to a good physics simulation, which would probably go quite a few few more times per second than that. But uh, So to, the way you use this, once you have the data pack installed, is you type trigger billiards, and it'll bring up this little menu. And from there, you can reset the game. The way you do that is just stand near the middle of this block and hit reset game. It'll basically reset the game like relative to where you're standing. So if you want to try this other larger pool table, you can. Uh, but yeah, so uh, it all it's kind of like racking a real pool game. You know, it's not it's not always in the exact same spot. But uh, you can see there's solids and stripes. So uh, solids are the wool ones, and stripes are the ore ones. And then the obsidian one is the eight ball. And of course the white one is the cue ball. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of play out a, a game of, um, of pool. Now there's a lot of different rules of pool, uh, different rule sets. I actually spent a while reading about them in my early twenties, but uh, typically you can start with a cue ball wherever you want behind this string, the head string it's called. And I'm sure I'm gonna get crucified by some pool players who play it differently than I do. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and break. Let me do a full draw on the bow. Now, however hard you hit that cue ball, uh, or however, however long you pull back on the bow, it will affect the speed with which you hit the cue ball. So I wanted to do a full draw for the break. That was a pretty good break because now I can, oh, never mind. there's a stripe over here. So there's two solids in and one stripe. Now the way I usually play is you don't get to call it until you, well, you don't get to call it on the break. So you have to, if you do hit one in on the break, you get to go again, but, uh, I think I have an easy shot here with this purple one. So I'm probably gonna go for solid since there's already two solids in. So I'll just try and hit it really hard. Oh, I did hit it in and I get to call uh, solids, but uh, I also scratched. So now the other player would go, I'm just gonna play for both players, but this does work in multiplayer. Uh, so the other player would be stripes. So basically they can put the ball anywhere they want behind this line, this sort of like invisible line here and on, on, a, on a scratch. Uh, so I'm going to try and hit in that ball. So uh, if you don't already have this menu up, you can just type trigger billiards again. Uh, if you do, then you can just hit reset cue ball and then wherever you're standing, it'll just warp the cue ball to you. So the cue ball was in here and now it's not. Now I can try and hit that uh, stripey emerald ore ball in and I got it in. And so I get to keep going. Oh, in fact, I even got another one in. Nice. All right. So it's going pretty well for the stripes. Uh, don't really have a great shot right now. I think I'm just going to try and hit this gold ore one on, on its side. I don't know. Maybe, maybe push it over that direction somehow. Or maybe I'll even hit the coal one. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, that was actually pretty close to going in. All right, so then it would be Solid's turn. So let's see. I think I want to try and hit the yellow wool in. So I, I want to like aim so that it hits this part of the ball. Now, the, the ball's... Uh, they look like cubes, obviously, because it's Minecraft, but they are spherical in terms of the physics engine. So if I hit it so that the sort of like the spheres touch, you know, this way, then it'll it'll knock the ball off that way. So I want to aim for the right side of the yellow wool ball, and we'll see what I can do. Oh, it's a little too wide there. So let's go. We'll go back to Stripe's turn. Seems like I have a pretty pretty good shot here, but. Never know, like even in real pool. All right, that was good. <laughs> so I just kind of struck it really hard and uh, all right, so let's see, I have three balls left I can hit, but uh, the rule that I play by is you have to hit your own ball. You can't hit the other team's ball first. So I can't really go for the coal one. I'm gonna try and combo. So the iron ore into the gold ore into the pocket. And uh, I'm gonna try not to hit this red ball cause that would be a scratch, but uh, something like this maybe. Oh, I missed the iron ore, so that wasn't the shot I called, but that's okay. So I did hit the gold ore in, but unfortunately I also scratched. So now it'll be on to Solid's turn. And so the Solid, again, you have to put the ball, the cue ball behind this string. Um, probably go for, eh, 
This this iron ore is kind of blocking all of the solid shots. Uh, all right, well, maybe the orange one. Though that is a little risky because you could hit the eight ball, but let's try it. So I'm gonna just put the cue ball right here and we're gonna aim for the left half of the orange one. Do, mm, okay, I don't wanna actually draw back that quite that far, I don't think. Oh, I actually hit the yellow one, interesting. <laughs> yeah, there, for sure the physics is not perfect, <laughs> but honestly, it's it's not too bad for just Minecraft. Uh, all right, so Stripe's turn again. This shouldn't be a hard shot, but we'll see. You never know. All right, it's not too bad. Unfortunately, I didn't set myself up very well. If I had if I had hit it maybe a little bit harder or a little bit lighter, it probably would have been a lot better. So now I'm gonna have an impossible time actually trying to hit the only stripes ball that's left. So I'm gonna have to go off the wall here. Uh, I think I need to aim about right there. So we'll see if I can just not scratch. Yep, I didn't scratch, but unfortunately I didn't get the ball in either. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, okay. All right. So yeah, I, I uh, the physics, like when the ball does hit the wall, it loses a little bit of velocity. Same with the balls uh, hitting each other. There's there's like some real physics-y stuff in there. Uh, all right, so, the, man, Stripes is so far ahead. And this is actually really hard because the cue ball is so close to this other ball. But, uh, well, I think I'm just gonna try and get the orange ball in that pocket, but it doesn't seem very likely. Let's try it like this. Oh. Well, wrong ball in the pocket, but I did get it. Unfortunately, I also scratched, which will let Stripes set up for a nice straight shot. Just like line it up and then I can hit reset cue ball. And here we have the cue ball. So this shouldn't be too hard of a shot. Although again, I don't know, sometimes I have a hard time with this in real life pool. Yep, not only did I not get it in, I also scratched. It can be very hard to line it up, especially since these balls aren't rendered the same way that they're handled with physics. All right, so that's a scratch and we'll give the ball to solids. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and line it up again, reset the cue ball, and yeah, try not to hit it too hard, I think. Just line it up. Oh man, <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm talking about with the physics. It like, the cue ball like somehow surpassed the, the yellow ball. So that happens sometimes. So now this is interesting because it's Stripe's turn. Um, I have to put the cue ball behind this line, but I can't actually directly hit this uh, iron ore ball. I just like, am not allowed to by the rules. Uh, I have to, the, the cue ball has to cross the line before it's it's able to hit the ball. Um, but it's also gonna be really hard to even just bounce it off the wall. I guess from over here, I might be able to bounce it off and hit the hit the cue ball or hit the, the iron ore. Well, let's just try not to hit the eight ball. <laughs> Oh, I hit the eight ball. So that is, in fact, I hit the eight ball into the pocket, and that means I lose the game. Wow, what a what an intense game of pool. Okay, well, yeah. So this is this is actually pretty fun to play, and like I said, it works online. Just any any time you want, you can hit the cue ball. It doesn't have to like be stopped or anything. In fact, the physics supports uh, balls that are moving hitting each other. If you want to reset the game, like I did at the beginning of the video, you come over here, you just hit reset game. Um, I'm just gonna shoot the ball around a little bit, but uh, try and get some some balls that are moving to hit each other. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, the the physics like there's there's some glitches for sure, but I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of what I was able to do. Um, yeah, if you want to download it and try it for yourself, there's a link in the description to this world. It's got both. Well, it's exactly what you see. Uh, it's got both of these pool tables. You can even make your own pool table uh, in different sizes. The only thing is that uh, when you come here and click reset game. The the cue ball is just always at this offset from the rest of the pool balls. So if you make a bigger or smaller table, you might have to like manually move it at the beginning of each game, but that's okay because I kind of manually move that cue ball at the beginning of each game too when I want to break, because I like to break from an angle. So yeah, that's that's how you do it. That's how you play pool in Minecraft. How did I render the, the, the game? Well, obviously, of course, it's armor stands. It's just armor stands wearing blocks on their head. And <laughs> it's just the same thing as always. I actually tried having them face the direction that they like have velocity in, but it was kind of weird because like you could see the entire texture like rotate as it like bounced off a wall. The texture would rotate 180 degrees and it didn't look great. But yeah, just armor stands and uh, wearing stuff on their head. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.